In this video, let's take a look at the basics of working with unordered and ordered lists, more commonly referred to as bullet lists. We'll start by going over to the Insert ribbon and then we'll insert a basic text frame. And let's go ahead and drag it down to the document page. And then we'll go ahead and increase the font size so we can see a little bit better what we're working with here. Now once you have the text frame on the page, you can start building your list. We'll show you one approach to doing this and then you can go ahead and play with it on your own. So we have the text highlighted. This is not required, but we're going to do that here. And then we'll move over to the home ribbon and we'll click on the list icon and it, we can start building our list here. So this is an unordered list and we'll call this one maybe bullet one, bullet two, bullet three. And at the end of each line, I'm hitting the enter key so that it will go to the next bullet point. And you'll notice here that we're using a certain image for the bullets themselves. This is based upon our system style. You can always swap these out. You also have the ability to go ahead and go over to your settings tab. And then you can go ahead and say, well, for the list style type, maybe we want to go ahead and choose something else to use for the bullet itself. Maybe you want to have an ordered list. So you swap over to numbered. You can also go ahead and maybe have a circle. Maybe you want to go ahead and have a square. You can use lower Roman. You can use upper Roman. You can use lower alpha. You can use upper alpha and so on. Let's go ahead and show you one more feature with this. Let's go ahead back to the bullet itself. And you'll notice that we're using just your standard bullet point. Well, what happens if you also want to go ahead and have maybe some sub bullets underneath? Well, this is easily done. Simply place the blinking cursor at the end of the bullet point where you want to add one that's going to be indented under it. And then click on the list icon again, and you'll notice that it is going to add the system style image for that bullet. So we can just call this one maybe bullet 3A bullet 3B, and so on. Now, if you don't want these sub bullets to have this particular image, simply come back over here and maybe you want to make these circles and it will change it just like that. And then again, in order to go back to the higher level bullet, simply go ahead, press your enter key, and then hit your backspace key and then it will get you up a level for the bullets. This is the basics of working with bullet points, creating unordered and ordered lists on your document page in Composica.